Hi, my name is Kate. I am a high school math teacher finishing up my 16th year and I thought that I would take you along on a little classroom tour today. So if this is something that you're interested in watching, stick around to see a tour of my room. So this is the view when you walk in and I will just kind of walk you guys around everything. So here I have a wall of D's, um, you know, the last name Dean. So I've enjoyed that. That's been fun collecting those. And then over here, this light box that I have, um, I have a student that will add different sayings to that for me. She's been a little uninspired lately. Down here on the shelf over here, I have lotions that my students are able to use. I have two bags here full of um, feminine products that my students can use. My, um, this Tower of Hanoi, my honors kids used to use as a math project a couple years ago. And then in the bottom, I have uh, just a couple of games for my students if they're looking for stuff to do during their homeroom time. And then next to that, I have this small whiteboard where I keep my trig values up for my students to use. Um, sometimes even my pre-count kids forget the different trig values I've got right now, some of the uh, trig graphs. And then my big magnetic unit circle. I do have behind the bookcase here in these little boxes all the different, so I've got the degrees, I've got the coordinates, and I have the radians, so when my students are working on that unit, they come in every day and they place a, a bunch of random unit circle pieces up just to help work on memorizing the unit circle. Underneath that whiteboard, I have two bookshelves. On top of the bookshelves, I have some more Ds, some decorations. This is where I decorate for the seasons. A, you know, right now we're just kind of in the season of not a whole lot, so it's just random stuff. Um, I've got my... Um, Pencil sharpener, this has been the absolute best pencil sharpener. The Exacto School Pro has been amazing so far, knock on wood. Hole punch. And then at the very bottom, I have the pre-calc books. We don't really use them, but I have them there. I put everything digital for my students, but they're there in case my students want a copy. I do have a small library that I do allow my students, if they want a book, they're more than welcome to take them. These are just books that our school library has withdrawn um, for whatever reason and they said that I could have. So this year students really haven't taken advantage but in years past students have really thinned out my library which is awesome. And then at the very bottom I have geometry books. We don't even use those anymore um, so I could definitely get rid of those. So continuing moving along I've got a pop, pop tabs collection here and a little basket. I definitely need to get rid of my uh, poinsettias because Christmas is well over. Um, but here's my very small desk area. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but take you around to show you my <laughs> basically preschool size desk here. It is so tiny, um, but I typically keep my laptop, my planner, my iPad over here. There's not a whole lot of drawers in it. So I have this 10 drawer cart that helps organize things as well. And then I've got just some random things over here, bell schedules, how to be a bad person. Behind that, I've got my personal bookshelf that's got tea accessories. These are old planners right here. These are my current curriculum that I'm teaching right now. And in the bottom, this is all of the curriculum for, there's um, algebra two, these two are geometry, and these two are pre-calc. And then this cart is an absolute mess. I got a bunch of mess down there. And then on my side table, I have my Cricut Joy, just a couple of random things. Underneath that, I've got my recycle bin and then my drawers where I keep all my copies. Um, so continuing going around my room, I've got a couple of really big bulletin boards in the back. I'm really lucky to have a lot of bulletin boards. So I've got them sectioned off where I try to change student work. Here's one of my alternate seatings. And then I've got some of my paper people, another set of desks. I've got this blanket ladder. This blanket ladder is one of my favorite additions. It is um, an old bottom part of an apple ladder from my grandparents, now brother's apple orchard. I've got one of my tall tables here. Here's one of my other bulletin boards. Here's a bean bag. Nice patch job right there, right? They'll never know. And here is another one of my tall seating areas. And then 
my newest addition to my decor, You Can Do Hard Things by um, Callie Danielle. This is one of my absolute favorite tapestries. If you want to find out more about this, look into the description box below and I will link her shop. Um, she's got some amazing things. Here is a couch. I got this couch from the Media Center, so excited to score that. I've got this small little two-person table. Typically, uh, nobody sits there unless they just want to sit alone for the day, so I let them do that. I've got a huge amount of storage off to the side here. This is in the side of my room, and I will use the surface to hang my word wall. We're just starting a new unit, so I don't have any word wall stuff up yet. Here is an extra door because yes, I have two doors in my classroom. I don't let students use this one, so um, but you know, it's there. So here's an extra chair and an extra ball that I have. And going around the front of the room, here is another desk seating area that I have. And off to the side, I have my file cabinet where I keep you know, all my files. Another big bulletin board here. <laughs> all those post-it notes are covering up important information. So don't mind that. Um, I don't put a whole lot on here. I mean, you can see I've got the bell schedule. I've got information about schedules and um, scholarships and stuff like that. I've got this Papa Sun chair and there is a plug over here. I've got a really big plug from Belkin. It's been great because I do not have a whole lot of outlets. I have this one that's behind the chair and I have two on the back wall and that is it for my students to use. So that's been a huge help. So students can either sit in this Papa Sun chair from Walmart or they can just bring up a chair and use that. I do have um, some extra floor pillows if the students wanna sit because I do not have carpet. And then here is my calculator caddy. I use this, uh, my students are assigned a calculator number. When they come in, they take their calculator and they put their cell phone in here. And that has been a huge help because cell phones have become a big issue this year. Now I don't have to worry about it. So this is my podium. I would be absolutely lost without teaching with my podium. And here I have my seating charts all in plastic sleeves, so I use those when I take attendance just with a dry erase marker, mark who is absent or tardy. Um, I've got a drawer around here. in here where I just keep a bunch of supplies, extra chargers, you know, all the stuff. Um, and then underneath is where I keep tests that I need to pass back, just extra folders, reference sheets for my pre-calc kids, and then under here are tests that need to be made up, and then again, just some extra folders, and then just some junk right here. I do have this side table here, um, passes down there for students, an extra pre-calc book. Um, and then this, I never got around hanging these up, so we'll see, maybe in the fall I will, but um, I, have three states so I grew up in Vermont I moved to Hawaii afterwards for college and now I'm living in Indiana in Indiana so I thought this was a fun little uh, display and then here's my front board I do have in the front as well a table and a 10 drawer cart with all different supplies that my students are allowed to use. The only exception is the pencil drawer is now empty because I have a different system for pencils. Um, my under table is a little bit of a mess, but it is still organized. So right now my students are using supplies, so I've got the pencil boxes up there. Underneath on top of the table, you'll see some bins. These are where I keep my different task cards. So I've got a bin for really um, big sets of task cards. And then I've got geometry, pre-calc, and algebra two. Down here, I just have um, junk right now. I need to get rid of that. This is where I'm keeping all of my extra copies for when students are absent. I don't like that because it's not really accessible for students. So next year I'm looking at implementing something else since as you notice, I have zero counter space in here, which has made things a little bit difficult. And then off to the side, on this side of the table, I just have um, really the only things that the students use are the stuff on top. So I've got hand sanitizer, I've got tissues, I do have paper towels under there. Um, so I've changed things up a little bit through the year, so over the summer, I'm gonna reevaluate some of the stuff in the front. So here's the rest of my whiteboard. I do have a nice big whiteboard. I have an Epson projector up there. Um, and then 
here are my calculator numbers. I have it turned backwards right now, so you guys can't see them, but that's to remind students of what their calculator number is. And then this is what I use for my pencil system. I was tired of going through, you know, 15, 20 pencils a day. So now students, if they don't have one, they come, they write their name up, take a pencil, and at the end of class, they return the pencil. I have only lost since implementing this in November of 2022, and it is the end of March 2023. I have only lost one pencil. There have been a few students that forgot to return them, and the next class period, they return the pencil or they just give me a different pencil, but it's a pencil. So um, yeah, when it's missing, I just leave it blank. I or, you know leave the spot empty. I leave their name up there. And then when I see them the next period, I ask them about it. But it's been an amazing system. If you have issues with pencils, I would recommend trying this. Over here, I have um, the schedule and then I've got some really bad math puns. I haven't updated this in... A long time I really need to because it was fun to have these things up here and then I have a student made um, trying not to show all of this stuff because it's you'll have a big blur over there um, my students made some art so they hung up some art um, under here I've got my recycle bin I've got my air purifier I have my divider for when we're testing since I'm using all groups not going to show you the end of that bulletin board because it's got a lot of student um, graduation information on it and uh, you know old announcements and stuff and then this is my other computer area so I do have two computers two laptops we're not supposed to so don't tell um, but I just keep my Dell plugged in and then I use my Mac for other things. So this is what I use to um, project everything up onto the front board. And coming back around, that takes us to the door that my students enter again. And so I have this poster, really like this, or this canvas that I made. And then again, that takes us back to the door. So I hope you guys like this tour. So another thing that I forgot to mention is that each of my teams have numbers and their numbers are based on these origami mobiles that I made and I haven't been yelled at yet for having these. So this is team one. It's got one ball and I made everything except for these two flying monkeys. My cousin made these. So that's team two. Team three. There's team four, and I'm going to go backwards here. So that's for team eight. That's team seven. This one's probably my favorite. That's for team six. And the last one for team five. And I do have a bunch of other origami hanging around. So this right here, I made um, these ones down here, my cousin made. And then on the far side of the room, I have this one. It took a long time to make, but it was really fun. And then my cousin made that right there. And the last ones that I have over in this corner are some more elephants that my cousin made. So got lots of origami in my room and it's been a lot of fun to have. It works really well because I am in um, what we call the School of Arts and Communications. So I've definitely been able to add some artistic feel to my math classroom. I hope you guys have liked this tour. If you have any questions about anything that you see in the video, feel free to drop a comment below. I will try to link a few things in the description box if there are things that I can find. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe if you are interested in following me for more um, high school math curriculum. So I will talk to you later. Bye.